Hey guys, and welcome back to The Lettered Classroom. I am so excited to be teaming up with some amazing YouTubers on creating a back to school hacks playlist for all of you. So in my video today, I am going to be talking about creating a time capsule wardrobe. I don't know about some of you, but I have the hardest time getting ready in the morning and I tend to be a little bit of a lazy dresser. I don't like to put a lot of thought into what I'm wearing, so I tend to wear the exact same thing over and over again. When I was in kindergarten in Alabama, I was so blessed because I had a school that we got to wear jeans very, very often. It was not even maybe a semester out of the year that I actually had to dress up. The majority of the year, we all kind of sported our t-shirts that matched our school and kind of supported our school. And it was great. So it was just a very lazy, I could just throw some jeans on, put my t-shirts on, put a nice shirt on with it, and I was ready to go. Well, this past year, I had a rude awakening. I came to a school that I actually had to put some thought into what it was that I was wearing. I no longer had my jeans on Fridays. We very rarely ever get jeans, and I think it's about maybe once a month that I actually do get to wear jeans to school. So I actually had to put some thought into my wardrobe and really look at some of the pieces that I was putting into my clothes because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on clothing. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I also wanted to make sure that I had pieces that would go with a lot of other things that I have that I already had. So today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite key pieces that I think are total essentials to be able to put inside of your wardrobe that you can mix and match and pair with other things that you have and it'll make it easy to get ready in the morning and you'll still look really put together and professional. One of the very first items that I have are tank tops. I think tank tops are a, like a complete essential. So tank tops are really nice because you pair them nicely with some type of a button down. You can pair it with a cardigan, have it tucked into a nice skirt. It just makes it very easy to kind of get ready to go. These are kind of my go-tos, especially when it's a little bit hotter outside and I don't want to layer on top lots of different things. You guys will notice that in all of my clothing items, I do a lot of layering. I play with my clothes and kind of mix them up as much as possible so that I can get multiple uses out of them. Um, I am not shamed when I say that there are times when I have worn the exact same shirt twice within a week because for me, it just, it works. So I have a nice black one that was from Target here and then I also have a white one, again, from Target. You guys are gonna notice that there's a lot of Target items in here. I'm also a little bit of a cheap shopper, so <laughs> it works on my behalf. So whereas tank tops are a little bit kind of form fitting. They fit your body a little snug. Um, I don't always like to wear those because I don't like to show a lot of my mom bod. Don't nobody need to see that. So I like to find a lot of pieces that are sleeveless that are a little bit more loose. And so I have a few here that I really, really like. This one is from Zara. It's just a sleeveless. It's more of a t-shirt knit. Um, type feel to it, but it's very nice. It has a little bit of a longer back, which is something that I always tend to look for because I like to cover my bum. I also have this one, which is a really pretty, it's like a gray blue, I believe. But again, it has a longer back, um, sleeveless, and I like this little button down detail here, although I don't think I would ever wear my sleeveless without something layered on top of it. Um, most schools, and I don't know if this is about your school, but most schools will allow you to wear sleeveless so long as it's not a spaghetti strap. I think the rule is like three fingers, so you put three fingers down and if it covers up those three fingers, then you're safe. Uh, and typically, like, I will never take off any type of layering that I place with one of these just so that I don't get in trouble. I don't like to show a ton, especially when I'm around student, students. I wanna be very professional. Um, but I like this one because again, it's just very loose fitting. It just kind of falls off of your body and it covers the things that you want to cover, or at least in my case that I want to cover. But this is a really nice one. This one's from Ann Taylor Loft and this was a recent purchase. So you guys will totally be able to snag it. And I found it on sale. You guys are also gonna notice I buy everything on sale. So if a lot of the things are not available, I am so sorry. Uh, this one I bought like a few couple of years ago, I believe, but this may have been a Target purchase. Again, it's just a very loose, fitting. You have to be careful with some of these with what you place inside of it. Those tank tops always come in handy. Definitely always come in handy. But this one has just some black stripes to it, sleeveless. Um, what I really love is that it has this like button down detail on the very back, which just adds another little like nice look to it, but it doesn't 
it's nothing that you know will eventually go out of style. So definitely find a few of these to be able to put inside of your wardrobe. I think I probably have about five that I kind of rotate on and off and I will just use them over and over and over again. You guys are also going to notice that I have a lot of neutrals inside of my wardrobe. I don't like to play with a ton of color. Every once in a while I will go out and I will get some things that have a little bit of color but I don't wear those a ton. I feel like the neutrals I could get away with wearing it over and over again without anybody kind of noticing that I'm wearing the same thing over and over. Neutral is like it's never going to go out of style. You never have to worry about, oh, well, I have to wear this during this season. I have to wear it during that season. You can wear these neutrals. I can wear these during the summer. I can wear it during the spring. I can wear it during the fall with adding some different layers to it. And it's perfect. So I tend to find, buy things that I can wear during multiple seasons and wear year after year. So you guys are probably already going to notice that I tend to wear very boring things. <laughs> I am a very boring person when it comes to my attire but it's all for good reasons. Now, so I have more of a pear-shaped figure. I have a very large bottom and very large thighs. Um, so I like to make sure that everything hits me at a certain area at my waist. And peplum shirts do just that. They kind of hug me just right up top and then they kind of flare out around the hip area, which is what I need. Um, so I really like these shirts. This one I got from Nordstrom maybe about a year or two ago. Um, it's really nice. It has these this little detail here where it just kind of has their little holes, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it's just a very nice stitching that it has. And then at the very bottom, it just kind of flares out just a little bit, but it's a very very beautiful detail. Again, I can pair this with so many cardigans. I can wear it with a button down shirt. I can add it with a nice blazer and really be able to change it up. Uh, my students will always see me wearing this maybe once a week or maybe once every other week. It's just something very easy to be able to throw on with some nice pants, some slacks, and then pairing it with one of my favorite things to layer on top. Because that little peplum shirt has no sleeves, I also wanted to make sure that I had one that does have sleeves. So this was a really, really nice uh, option for me. I love stripes. I'm a little bit of a stripe hoarder, but this one is nice. It's a very thin knit shirt. Um, you would get hot in it if it's like during the summertime, so I do not recommend getting this for summer, but this is a nice transition for fall to winter, and I can also wear it in the spring during the, some of those cooler days. But it's really lovely. Again, it's just got that peplum down at the bottom where it has that stitching. It just kind of ruffles a little bit, and then it kind of falls really nice, and I like the way it just hangs off of my body. It looks really pretty, especially paired with some type of a sweater by itself. You can pair it with a nice blazer and it always always is one that I tend to go to especially when it starts to get a little bit cooler outside so for those hotter days when you are really really hot outside <laughs> but you also don't want to have something that's really tight and you don't want to wear the sleeveless I recommend finding some really nice spaghetti strap tanks this is from Ann Taylor Loft and y'all I wore this so so much I also have it in a really nice burgundy color and I kick myself every day for not buying it in the black but this is one of my def definitely go to just throw it on put on a cardigan a very thin cardigan or maybe some type of a jacket on top of it and it is so so comfortable you do have to be a little bit careful because if you bend over it will just kind of fall so you have to watch what you put underneath it I have some tanks that have like almost a lace design underneath that I will wear with this just so that I can kind of cover all my bases very comfortable it just falls very nice I love the very bottom of it where it has kind of this scoop effect down here. It's really pretty. I don't know the technical terms of it. But here's what I love the most about the Ann Taylor Loft spaghetti straps. Because a lot of spaghetti straps, they almost kind of cut across your body um, up here at the top. Whereas this one, it has that really nice v-neck. And this spaghetti strap, it's not a really long spaghetti strap. I feel like spaghetti straps would come like almost down here. Whereas this one, it's very short at the top. And then it kind of starts to gather some and then layer it, which is nice because I feel like it adds a little bit of that coverage that you're looking for here. Um, or at least that I'm looking for there. And it makes it very professional so that you're not kind of looking like you're straight up rolling with the spaghetti strap shirt to work. I know what you're probably thinking and you're probably saying, wow, Bridget, you're very casual when you go to work. Again, 
I am a very lazy dresser. So this is almost like the lazy person's guide to getting dressed because that is totally me. I don't like to put a ton of thought. Y'all, if I could just wear my plaid shirts and my jeans and my flip flops everywhere I went, I would definitely do that. Uh, but I do have some really nice shirts to be able to kind of dress myself up for those days that I really know that I need to be dressed up. Uh, so if like the superintendent is coming or if I have an observation that's going to be happening pretty soon, typically I will wear these. Um, but this is just a really nice option. I like to make sure that I have a couple of these inside of my wardrobe. Again, the color is not too, too out there. You're going to notice that it's still almost like a subdued purple. It's really pretty. I guess, um, I can't even think of the word for the, for this like color tone, but it's just, it almost has like a gray feel to it, which I really, really love because gray is one of my favorites. Uh, but it's your, your typical like see-through and this is like a tunic. So this is really nice because it transitions beautifully across all of the seasons. I can pair this with some of my leggings and put it with some boots if I'd like to. Um, also pairing it with some of my slacks and kind of tucking in the very top portion of it also looks really really nice it's very airy and very comfortable and it just falls over my body just perfectly so this is a absolute key y'all I bought this so long ago I can't even tell you where in the world I got it from like the brand is called Lush I the only Lush I know is like the bath Lush this is one of my absolute favorite ones to wear it's a little bit of a longer sleeve I do have some that are short sleeves but what I love about this one is that it's a little bit tighter fitting at the very top and then it kind of falls out just a little bit um, at the bottom and it has that same effect like the loft t-shirt where it has like that scoop down at the bottom I really like that I don't know why I just really am drawn to that look um, but this is really nice to be able to pair again with some slacks and layer it with something on top of it. You can also pair it with a really pretty skirt because it will be nice and tight fitting here and then a high waisted skirt that would look really, really professional. And I think that's even going to be my like anniversary attire that I'm going to wear on Friday because Friday is my anniversary because it's been really, really cool here for the past few days and I've been loving the cooler weather. So pulling out some like long sleeves, adding it with a nice little skirt is just right. For those days that I'm not really wanting to layer because of one reason or another, having some type of a light knit sweater is absolutely key whenever you are kind of planning out your wardrobe for back to school. So this is one of my absolute favorites because it has bat sleeves. I don't know if that's the technical term and it's most likely is not, but it is the term that I give it because it has these very large sleeves. So they kind of hang a little bit from here, but they are so, so cute. And this is just such a comfortable, comfortable knit. This is one that I did get from Nordstrom. The brand is called Leaf. I hope I said that right, but it is a wonderful shirt to be able to have. I usually pair it with some type of a necklace. You can also pair it with a beautiful little scarf, add it to some slacks and some really pretty flats, and then you are all set to go. And it is so unbelievably comfortable. So on those days that the weather can't really decide what it's wanting to do, like, is it going to be hot today or is it actually going to be cold? This is a great option because you're not adding in all those layers, but at the same time, you have a little bit of warmth because it is a little bit of a, a lighter knit sweater. Moving on to the stars of my wardrobe <laughs> are going to be my button downs. I absolutely have to have my button downs with me in my closet for back to school when I'm getting dressed. They're just a huge necessity for me. I love the way that I can really play with these clothings and really kind of dress them up. One one of the few favorites that I actually have right now is going to be this really pretty purple one. I also have one that's almost like a mustardy colored. I did just get them from Target. Y'all Massimo is going away from Target. So definitely go to Target and snatch these up because I think they were buy one get one half and they were reasonably reasonably pr priced as well. You can leave them open, add a t-shirt underneath it, add a tank top underneath it. You still look pretty put together. You could even close them up and tuck them into some really nice pants. There's just so many different ways that you can style this. And I'm going to give you a hint, guys. I absolutely love layering these on top of dresses. It is my absolute favorite. So having some really nice maxi dresses that you can place this on top of, you can add a little belt to it, leave it open. Another great way for you to be able to layer your clothing, feeling comfortable when you go to work, and then at the same time, you look a little bit put together. 
Um, I also have this one right here, which is really, really nice. This is more of my, I guess, like professional lure looking one. <laughs> um, but this is almost has like a denim look and it doesn't have a denim feel. It has the same feel as the Massimo brand, which is really night and light and soft and just, it's very comfortable, but it still looks extremely professional. Um, again, I layered this with some type of a tank underneath it. I will wear it buttoned up and just kind of tucked into my pants. There are just so many things that you can do with these. And I feel like it's an absolute necessity to have these in your wardrobe. I do have some other ones, but they kind of tend to be a little bit more seasonal. Um, those I get from like J crew and they're like your green and your red plaid ones. Well, typically I wear those around like fall and Christmas time. Um, and then I have some that are like your red, white, and blue ones. And those I typically wear during my spring and summer time. So for those days when I am not loving anything that I am putting on, which happens probably about three or four times a week, <laughs> I will typically go to my easy throw something on and get myself to work wear. And that is wearing all black. And I know this probably sounds just a little bit morbid, but I love to be able to wear all black and then throw a really beautiful cardigan on top. Uh, this is one of my lighter kind of shirts, especially right now when the weather cannot make up really what it really wants to do. Uh, this is one that is really nice. It's very soft. And then it has kind of your, um, it's almost got like a see-through look inside of it. So it's really airy. So I don't have to worry about like, oh, well, I'm going to put a cardigan on top of this. And typically if I do put a cardigan, especially this time of the year, it's one of my lighter knit cardigans. And it just kind of pops when it's underneath, all, when it's on top of all black. And I think it has like a really chic type look to it. Um, and it's really easy to be able to get ready. So this is always my go-to whenever I'm not loving anything that I'm wearing and I really need to get ready and go to work. This is typically after I have like tried on three or four different things and nothing seems to work. Then I go to all black and I just throw on a cardigan because it's so easy to be able to do it. You guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but the key word that I've said during this entire video is comfort. I am so big when it comes to being comfortable. I don't want to feel constricted. I don't want to feel confined to my clothing because I am down on the floor. I'm up. I'm bending over. I'm doing all kinds of things. I'm standing on top of tables. The things that I choose to put inside of my wardrobe, I need to be really careful and really certain that I can move and kind of feel free in my clothing. I don't want to be like, oh, everything's really tight. <laughs> I don't want to feel like I can't do the things that I would do on a normal, normal day to day basis. So what's really hard, I feel like with our jobs is that we're like right in the middle, you know, you never really know, you know, I have to be like super, super professional with my suit and my tie, or, you know, I can wear my jeans or, you know, just like a t shirt. It's just that that awkward ground that you never really know what to wear. And I feel like as a first year teacher, I struggled so much with figuring out what to wear. And I, I was always like, well, I guess I'm just going to be incredibly professional. And then as like, I started getting more and more years under my belt, I started kind of slacking off a little bit more and more, because I started realizing that I don't really need to be that professional. Like I need to make sure that I'm comfortable as a teacher because I am moving and I am sitting down on the floor and I am, you know, getting up and talking with students and walking around. So that is going to be my absolute key. And everything that I'm showing you, you guys, is incredibly, incredibly comfortable. Again, it's the lazy guide to getting ready. So now let's talk cardigans. I love cardigans, but I have a variation of cardigans that I will wear. Not all of them are going to be all year round because of just weather purposes, but I do like to layer a lot of my clothes with cardigans. And one of the ones that I'm wearing a ton right now is this very light knit. It's from H&M. Um, it's a very light knit, long, uh, nice cardigan. And it's kind of got that like dusty pink rosy feel to it. And I love, love, love this. It does make it very light. So you're not feeling really heavy pairing it with one of my tanks underneath it or putting a really nice, like that pel peplum shirt underneath it would look so lovely whenever you are going back to school. So now this next one is incredibly old. I've had this I think since I started teaching, uh, but this one is from Banana Republic and it is a little bit of a heavier knit uh, cardigan than the last one that I just showed you. But this one is really nice. I think it's so important to have just a really nice gray cardigan because it, you can pair it with everything. This one I really like because it's the boyfriend cut. So it has the really big buttons towards the very bottom, kind of goes, um, 
cuts in in the very top and then pulls out at the bottom. I really like it. I feel like it's just a very nice kind of classic look to have. So definitely one that you would want to have in your wardrobe. Now we're going to go into the more fall and winter cardigans, but I absolutely had to mention them in this video. So this is by far one of my favorites. I've had this one now for two years, and I did notice that Nordstrom brought this back out last year, and it comes in so many colors. But the one thing that I did want to point out is the color itself on this, because I think it's so nice to have some type of a brown, and it's not even like a complete brown. I feel like it's almost like a gold brown. It's really pretty. But it's important to have one of those, because those days that you can't add gray to it, or you can't put black with it, it's really nice to have one of these to go with it. And this one is so comfortable, y'all. It's got like fuzzy on the inside. It's so nice. Um, and what I love about it, it has this little spot to be able to put a button so you can just wrap it up here if you're really, really cold and you can just have this nice little look. But down in the very front, it kind of comes to a point on either side and then the back is just kind of a straight across um, point and it hits like really nice kind of mid link on on your bum or at least for me it does and it's so nice to be able to pair this and y'all it is incredibly comfortable so definitely keep a lookout in Nordstrom to see if you can find one of these because this is an absolute must to put on your list for going back to school and I feel like this video would not be a really good video if I did not mention the sweater that my husband got me last year so this is a Banana Republic sweater and it's a very beautiful cream color another really good essential color to have as far as cardigans go but what I love about this, and it is a little bit of a heavier knit, actually no, it is a le it's a heavy knit, so I would wear this on those colder days, but it's so cold for so long here that I do get to a lot of wear out of this cardigan, um, is the button detail on the very back, which is so, so pretty. I think it is the cutest thing ever, and I really like it. Um, I can pair this with any color shirt underneath that, any t-shirt, tank top, put it with a really beautiful cardigan. This is another one of those cardigans that I like to pair with all black underneath it because the cream just kind of pops and it just looks really really lovely but an easy thing to be able to put on and just go to work so much to my husband's dismay I'm adding blazers he hates blazers but I think blazers are a great way to really dress up any type of outfit I have a gray blazer and this is actually from forever 21 which is pretty it wasn't too too expensive but I do I did have this probably I bought it maybe about two or three years ago, so I've had it for a while. But I have a gray one, and I also have a black one from Ann Taylor, and I love them. I love to be able to just kind of roll up the sleeves a little bit, you know, add a really nice sweater, something like this that's kind of light underneath it. Once it starts to get a little bit cooler, I'll add, you know, some type of a button down underneath this and then layer it on top of my sweater, which I think also looks really, really nice. A great way to be able to dress up any type of outfit to make yourself look a little bit more professional. So when you know that you're super superintendent is coming you can be prepared with your blazer maybe you should just have one in your classroom at all times just in case that's a good idea let's all do that this year so maybe you do have a few shirts that are a little bit fancier than some of the other ones um not like any of my shirts that i've showed you but maybe even like this little purpley one that would be really nice because it does have a little bit more of a look to it or any of the pelplum shirts that kind of have a look to it but pairing it with a nice denim jacket I think is always really really nice um, it kind of sets it to where it's not too too fancy but you kind of dye it down just a little bit now I would never pair this with a t-shirt so <laughs> don't go to school with slacks t-shirt and a denim jacket I would never do that um, I feel like that's a little bit too casual so I would wear this maybe with some type of really nice slacks or even a really beautiful skirt putting it with a beautiful little tank underneath it and pair it with a nice denim jacket I think that that would be really nice it kind of dies down the two like two business dies it down just a little bit and makes it kind of a nice even um, not too business not too casual look but this is an always a really nice one to be able to have in your wardrobe for when you're going back to school I don't know I just like the feel and looks of denim if I could wear denim every single day I definitely would and maybe this is my way of being able to wear that denim that I don't get to wear very often during the school year at this school okay so now let's talk pants because I am so particular about my pants and the way that they fit me again I'm a little bit of a pear shape so I have a large bum I have large thighs so things that I need to fit I need it to fit me rather nicely um, and comfortably one of the ones that I've just have recently purchased is going to be from Ann Taylor and these are kind of your lighter pants 
that are great for this transition time when it's still a little bit too hot outside to be wearing some of your heavier knit kind of pants. Um, these I really like because they're extremely comfortable. Pairing this with some type of a blazer, putting it with a really nice shirt underneath it, adding a beautiful little cardigan would be really nice, but they're extremely, extremely comfortable. I'm even wearing some right now because they are that comfortable. And there are ways that you can truly dress this up to make it look lovely. Now, don't roll up in this with these type of pants and a t-shirt and say, I'm ready to go to work. You definitely have to really kind of focus on some of that layering when you're doing these types of pants because they can look a little bit too casual. So be very careful what you put with it. Add some really nice shoes, maybe even some wedges with it, and it would look really, really smart. Now, I have an addiction when it comes to my pants, and my addiction is J. Crew. <laughs> I always go to the J. Crew outlet right before school, and I try to pick up some of these pants, but I love them. These are just your basic, like, skinny pants from j crew uh the brand is called frankie so i have a few sh different shades in it i have it in a navy which is really nice and then i also have it in an olive color which i think is really pretty the most important part about these pants is the coloring of them i can wear it with just about anything that i've showed you here and it would pair beautif beautifully with them a lot of the times when i'm going out and i'm looking at clothing and trying to figure out if i want to add this to my wardrobe i want to make sure that i can add it to about five or six other things that i already have so that I can really get the most out of it and I think that these colors are absolutely beautiful and easy to wear and the transition is seamless like it will transition into spring it'll go into summer it'll go into you know fall very nicely and they are incredibly incredibly comfortable and J. Crew just has wonderful quality these are my ones that I try to cheat with because we don't get to wear jeans very often these kind of have like a jean feel but these are Joe's jeans um, and I love them so so much they are so comfortable and they go with everything this is my I'm gonna wear all black attire and be okay with it and it's really really like it's incredibly comfortable um, so I love 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 these jeans they have a really great fit I bought these at Nordstrom rack so I didn't pay full price for them I've worn them so many times and they still look great again I don't throw it in the washer very often because I don't want it to fade too much but it's an absolute essential to have some type of black pants again just because that for those days that you don't really know what to wear you throw in all black put on a really good cardigan and you're good to go now I feel like the like I feel like this was probably the best purchase that I have ever made before and this was a recent purchase. I actually went to Zara in New York City and I was so excited about this but I didn't realize about how great of a purchase this was until I got home which is a little sad because I probably should have made the connection when I was at Zara but I love 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 this skirt it is so pretty this is a nice black skirt the part that I love the most about it is going to be the really beautiful button detail that you have on the side and then the other part is that it's reversible Y'all, I could totally wear this twice in one week and get away with it because I can wear black on one day and then wear the brown the next day. How cool is that? But I love this because it's so nice to be able to pair it with, you know, a nice little tank or a t-shirt, add your denim jacket. You can add it with a beautiful cardigan um, and it looks so, so nice. And I feel like it's just an easy way for you to be able to get ready. I would wear this with flats. But sometimes heels just are not very comfortable. And I would definitely go to Zara and try and check it out and see if you can find this. I did get it on sale so cross your fingers that it's still there now you guys are probably saying Bridget you have absolutely no pattern inside of your wardrobe I do have pattern I promise you but the pattern that I have is maybe about 1% of my wardrobe uh, but I did want to show you this dress just because of the style and the fit of it um, and not just because of the pattern because but I do think the pattern is really cute I feel like they're like little pinatas I don't really know it's just a nice little knit kind of t-shirt knit feel to it um, it has the like v-neck here and then it has a v-neck in the back it is a spaghetti strap so I will say that I always layer this with something typically with like a blazer or I'll put it with some type of a cardigan just to make it look really nice and put together but what I love the most about this is how long it is so that's kind of my key here is I try to do dresses that are pretty long I don't want to do anything that's usually above the knee because I always get worried about when I'm sitting down and, and it kind of scoots up just a little bit from sitting down that you're going to see a lot of my thighs. So I try to find dresses that are at a really nice, decent length. This one comes, I think, maybe about 
halfway to my cap. I've had this for a couple of years, but I did buy this at Nordstrom. So easy to be able to throw this on and just be able to go to work. So definitely find, be on the lookout for some type of a dress that kind of you can throw on. It has a really decent length to it and it has a really comfortable feel to it so that I can, you're not feeling like you're like, oh, everything is really tight. I need to go home and take this off. That's never what I want thinking halfway through work. Oh, I really need to get this off of me. Now I'm going to show you some really awesome tricks that I got from another teacher when I was in kindergarten and she was so cute and so wonderful and I loved a lot of the things that she kind of paired but um, having some type of a black maxi brown maxi gray maxi any kind of maxi I chose black because it's a little bit easier for me to put them together is total key y'all this is such a great way to be able to do this I can literally take the shirt that I'm wearing put my maxi dress underneath it add a nice little belt to kind of cinch it up at the waist so it doesn't look too big and frumpy and I look put together and it is so amazingly comfortable to wear a maxi dress to work but you can change it up. You know, I can wear it with my button down, have my button down open. I can tie my button down up and have um, a little belt around it. There are just so many things that you can do with having a maxi dress. And I feel like it is incredibly comfortable. And it's for those days that you really just want to throw something on. You're not liking wearing pants. You know, you can't do leggings maybe because at your school you can't, you're not allowed. Add a little bit of layering to it and you still look really put together and professional whenever you do go to work. So definitely have, be on the lookout if you don't have one already, but I feel like everybody has a maxi dress in their closet already, but have it on your list for wearing back to school. Don't just kind of hide it off to the side because you feel like you can't wear it to school. Last but not least, let's talk shoes. So one of the very first shoes I think is the coloring that I want to kind of point out the most. Um, I am very, very blessed, hashtag um, spoiled, and my mom bought me some Tory Burch shoes for my birthday this year. So I am very excited to be able to wear these. I haven't even worn these yet, um, but I love the nude color and I think it's really important to have like a nude flat inside of your wardrobe just because it's easy to be able to pair with pretty much everything that you have. Um, these are really nice because they're also comfortable, which I think is absolute key. Along with the nude is having some really nice black flats. Now you're going to see that these kind of changed up a little bit because they do have a little bit more of a detail towards the very top of them. These are nice suede ones. I got these from J. Crew I think last year and I love them. They are incredibly comfortable. They look extremely professional and I really like how they can really dress up anything that I'm wearing. So when I do need to have almost like a dressier feel, I will definitely add these shoes. Black flats are also a key necessity to have in your wardrobe. Now I feel like these are probably my cheat shoes as well but I absolutely love my black Clarks that I got last year um, I didn't think I would ever wear Clarks but I love 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 these um, these are almost like my tennis shoe version which I think is why I call them my cheat because they look like tennis shoes and they feel like tennis shoes they are phenomenal but I can still get away with wearing them to work I love wearing these especially when I'm wearing the all black with my cardigan this looks really really nice and adds to that comfort feel that I'm looking for for those types of days y'all these are great shoes for when your feet are hurting and you need to be a little bit more comfortable the next day. To add on to that kind of feel of you don't really know what the weather is going to be like, I would definitely recommend getting some type of low heel kind of ankle boot. Um, these I got from DSW last year and I put, I wore them so, so much to school because they're incredibly comfortable and they have kind of that suede look. They have that really nice like um, zipper detail that goes down the side and they just go with just about everything, which is really nice. So I feel like these are absolute necessity whenever you are going back to school because it also dresses it up just a little bit. If you're not wanting to wear flats or if it's starting to feel a little bit cold, colder for flats, these are great to be able to start using as a transition for the season. I really love these. Like they're so worn. I can't even tell you what brand it is because I've worn them so, so much. All right, y'all. And that is a wrap for my creating a time capsule for your back to school wardrobe. I hope that you guys got a little bit of inspiration from this wardrobe and that you have some really great ideas of what you can kind of add to really have some of those key like transitional pieces and pieces that are absolutely timeless and that you can wear year after year after year. So make sure that you go and check out the playlist for the back to school hacks hosted by thrifted living and check out some of the other videos I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some amazing youtubers out there that are going to have some great ideas for all of you so check out those videos be sure that you share this out subscribe if you haven't already guys give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you all really really soon bye